first of all, we should talk about uh, how to test your soil for clay. Are you planning on uh, building on some property or? One day. Yeah. Uh, someday, <laughs> yeah. So what you want to do is uh, dig beneath the first few inches. The first few inches are going to have a lot of, uh, you know, uh, organic material like uh, straw and, and leaves and whatnot. So you, that's not where you're going to get your clay. And so dig beneath the soil a few inches and then grab that soil. And uh, there's several ways to test the soil. Uh, one of the ways is to put it in a jar with water, shake it up, put, get it all dissolved, and then watch it settle out over the next few days. And you can see the layers of what you have in there. You'll see gravel and sand, clay and silt. And uh, that I, in the past I found not so useful. It's, it can be, but what I find much more useful is actually just to wet the, the clay, make a ball and just drop it on a flat surface from high. And if it holds together, it's probably got some clay. If it just falls completely apart, it's got a lot of soil. If it doesn't have enough clay, it'll just break apart. See, that, that's, that's, if, it had, if it didn't have any clay or very much, it would just break apart. So, uh, I'd like to give you all some good mud here to play with. Just. Just uh, work it with your hands. Let's see. Yeah, it's got a lot of rock. So, test I think is the snake test. So once you get it uh, kind of set, just kind of roll it in your hands. And uh, if you can't make a roll like this, then there's not enough clay in the soil. Mm. But the longer you make it. And the longer it stays together, that the, means you have more clay. And the longer you can make it, the more clay you have. Yeah, because uh, if, if it wasn't going to hold up at all like this, then you're going to have to find another source of clay. Right. Uh, either another place to keep testing around your property or neighbor's property or like I did in Arizona I had to buy the powder, powdered clay from the store. Si no tiene suficiente arcilla, no se puede hacer. Es va a quebrar. Pero pero si, lo más largo se puede hacer, lo más arcilla que tiene. Entonces este no es pura arcilla, pero casi Just clay and sand. I'm not going to test it a whole lot right now because it's not completely dry. But uh, the final test is actually to stand on it and see how, how strong it is. Uh, and this one is also sand and clay with straw. So that's much stronger. That's, that's basically the, the mixture that we're going to use. And I expect that will not break easily. Uh, was kind of an experiment to uh, try to make a brick and the uh, method of bahareke which is mostly straw mixed with clay and we ended up uh, using more clay than I expected so it's actually really heavy and uh, as a result it's pretty solid. Fue una mezcla solamente arcilla y arena uno por uno y como no tiene uh, no tiene paja quebra no es, no es fuerte sin, sin paja este tiene igual uh, arcilla y arena y paja es muy fuerte so I made about five weeks ago and uh, so I just used a form and uh, this is a just clay and sand, so it didn't hold up to, at all. It started to, it looked good at first, but then it didn't hold up uh, because it didn't have anything to bind it. Uh, this, this is a one-to-one -one sand straw clay, and this is the best. This is the mixture that we use for almost all of our cob. 
one to one. One to one to uh, with with straw, mm. and it's, uh, it's that's the first time I've done that. It's it's still uh, super strong. Yeah. It's still really strong. Yeah, after all this time, this was an experiment with a uh, bahareke mixture, which is mostly straw. I'm really happy with it. It's super, It's almost as strong. I think. Uh, it's it's certainly heavy. I, I'd like to try it without so much uh, without so much clay because this is really still heavy. I wanted to try to make a brick that's lighter, actually lighter to carry. But this is still uh, super strong. Yeah, it's holding up really well. Yeah, and uh, you know, with the rain and everything, it'll end up like this. But uh, yeah, th this, this, is, this is a way you can test your, your recipes before you actually start building. Traditionally, you know, they would have assembly line, which hopefully we can do today, of uh, mixing and then forming the cobs. And then another person over there, you toss the cob to them and then they put it in the wall. Join us for future workshops in natural building and permaculture at Centro Educativo Suelo Sano.